YouTube, what up, man? Uh, back with another quick little video. Uh, my way now to uh, Harbor Freight, pick up a couple, couple more tools. Uh, trying to get a few things in order to uh, a couple more installs and stuff with uh, stereos, backup cameras speakers, all that good stuff, which, I mean, I hook up all my stuff, but, you know what I mean, majority of people around me, you know, need a few replacements here and there, so, been doing some of that on the side, um, but yeah, man, uh, appreciate everybody, man, tuning in, uh, people that have subscribed to the video, if you're tuning in now and you haven't subscribed, man, I appreciate that, uh, I'm actually going to be doing a uh, an update video to one of my previous videos on my uh, Tesla style radio because so I've been getting a ton of uh, questions as well as uh, views. So it's like, well, I just do a quick update video as well as a uh, review or whatnot. So then that way I can address some of those questions and then hopefully answer any other questions that you know people may have. Um, if you've been planning on getting one for yourself, which I plan on getting another one for my wife's car. Um, but she has a, a 16 Maxima, so um, hers will actually be a little bit smaller than mine, which mine is a 12.1. The one they make for her car is a 10.5, I think. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing a video on that as well, as far as like, you know, from start to finish, from... Uh, sending them all the information that they need uh, to build the stereo, uh, handling time, shipping time, you know, the process of getting it in, unboxing it, uh, taking out her old unit and putting a new one in there. So the whole process from start to finish. Uh, but let's get into this video. Stay tuned. All right. So we back in. Um, I just decided to do this uh, video as far as like just an update and uh, <clears throat> pretty much an overall review and answering a lot of questions um, just to pretty much add one answer those questions and then two it may be questions that um, may come in the future uh, for people looking to uh, update their stereo whether it be in a Durango or whether it be in something else because uh, like I said they make it for plenty of different um, different vehicles like i said i plan on buying it for my wife's car she has a 2016 maxima um so i'll do a complete video of that from order process all the way through installation um but yeah let's get into it so again this is uh this is my setup um how i have mine which um uh, pretty cut and dry uh but a lot of the uh, questions that i had uh, was over like climate control, um, heated steering wheel, heated seats, all of your features that uh, uh, you have with your stock radio. Wondering if you lose any of those features or not. Um, starting off first, I mean, you have your uh, climate control. So, I mean, you still have access to all of your heated and cooled seats. Uh, and your steering wheel, uh, heated and cooled steering wheel, if you have that. Um, of course, all your regular AC controls, your uh, temperature change, so if you want to raise or lower the temperature. Um, of course, all your defrost. Um, this is pretty much how you cycle through. Uh, actually, zoom in a little bit. How you cycle through what exactly is on, whether it's your defrost, uh, air floor, uh, wherever it is that you you know want your air to blow to uh, of course you have your rear controls you just tap that and of course all that is there which of course mine is going to be a little bit different than um, a couple of other uh, people's of course I had the uh, Sergio uh, software update so again that way maybe my why uh, mine looks a uh, little bit different than yours if you already have one or when you get yours and you wonder why you know yours looks a little bit different than mine um i'm back in that see if there's anything else i forgot of course you can change your 
fan speeds, all that stuff works. Of course, your rear climate control, you can turn all that up. Uh, which I don't know if you can hear that just yet back there. Uh, but of course, you can control all of that stuff back there in the back. Turn that on. Uh, can't really hear it just yet, but uh, controls all of that. Uh, which is kicking in now. Of course, you can turn that up. Of course, you can climate control kicking in. So that's climate controls. Of course, in my apps, I have, um, of course, got my YouTube on there. A majority of my apps I got from the uh, app store itself. The only ones that I actually installed through uh, Google search was my Netflix because that won't pull up through the regular app store. So you'll actually have to go into Google and search uh, your Netflix builds to actually... Uh, be able to download that and get that installed um, so I put that on there of course my movie app I got my UVerse stuff on there uh, so that way I can watch you know my live uh, shows sports all of that stuff um, and it works just as it would whether it be on your phone tablet or whatever other device that you want to put it on uh, let's see if I can get this to load up it's the only thing that actually takes a little bit, but then again, I barely have a signal, so. Uh, let's see. Of course, your light settings, you can go in and actually change what color your lights are down here. So if you wanted a red, blue, green, uh, whatever color, to, you can actually have it to where it changes and cycles through your different colors. You can make your own custom color if, you know, you wanted it to be that color. So let's see if I could that to pop on. I don't know how good that is showing up. But you can see, change it to red, blue, uh, green. But just showing up a little bit, not a whole, whole lot. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it on in blue. Uh, put it back on auto. Um, so yeah, you can change all of those features. Of course, you have your uh, update button. Of course, your camera, if you wanted to turn that on that'll pop on which it should uh yeah so turn that on if you wanted to which i plan on putting a, uh, a front camera in as well or one of the uh hd um uh, backup cameras or not backup cameras one of the uh cameras that you put up here to just kind of record i was planning on getting one of those as well um let's see what else do we have uh, so my YouTube. That's all of that stuff works. Oh, let me actually back up and get a little bit better signal. Sitting in the driveway, so signal isn't really coming in like it should. Everything works as it should. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so. Should we swap it down? In effect, I'm going to clear all. So, with this button here, if you have any apps open, which again, if you've ever had an Android tablet or anything like that, uh, works pretty much the same. You clear out certain apps, you can clear out all of them every now and again I'll clear out all of those um, let me see go back into it let's see if that sped it up some which is normally pretty snappy it's not you know what I mean like a an iPad or you know one of your top of the market Android tablets but as far as speed it's pretty reliable again I still 
don't have the strongest of signal in the garage uh, when I normally um, throw my uh, internet or tether my phone to my unit it works pretty flawlessly because again I have that stronger signal in here but again just being in the garage it works pretty good so see if there's any other apps um, of course I got my Apple CarPlay which that kind of takes a while I would probably say that's one of the things that um, I kind of have a little bit of an issue with is the Apple CarPlay which it works pretty good once you get it connected which I have the wireless Apple CarPlay uh, if I can go into it you can kind of get a, a feel for it yeah, it's connected right now and again it's wireless so I mean my, my plug is is down here so I don't have that linked up which one it takes a while to link up and then two you may be listening to music or whatever the case is you kind of step away from uh, your Bluetooth whether it be your whatever the case is and you kind of get that choppy sound because the you're not as close um, to whatever it is that you're connected to and it just kind of distorts the sound or it's kind of choppy because you're a little ways away from you know your bluetooth speaker or whatever it kind of does that sometimes even though my phone is right here so i really kind of just use um just the bluetooth audio i don't really use the um car play that much which again that issue and that's why like i said i hardly go in and actually use it like that um, a lot of us really just either listen to radio talk music you know uh, talk radio you know you're streaming apps and all that kind of stuff um, so let's see DVR so I don't have that Let's go back into settings. So, GPS language. Again, I haven't messed with equalizer. Hardly any. Um, I kind of went in and kind of messed with it a little bit, but, you know, messing with the uh, equalizer in here. It's a little weird, uh, which I haven't tweaked a whole lot of this. I went to something a little bit more simple, which I'll go into that, but of course you can go in and kind of filter and tweak your sound how you would really like it. I haven't really too much messed with that. I may actually mess with that a little bit later. Uh, dimmer, the user settings, and here you have all of your basic user settings, whether you want the navigation to automatically come on when a system comes on, uh, of course your split screen, park lines, all that good stuff. Um, all this pretty much comes preset, which you can change all of this stuff if you really don't, you know, like the uh, presets. Uh, phone speaking volume, so that way whenever you make a call or you receive a call, that's the volume that it would automatically uh, stay at. Uh, I think I had to turn mine up. I think it was a lot lower than that. Uh, and, you know, 14 is pretty good volume people can hear you you can hear them uh, at the top. Mm. then you can kind of control what apps you have at the top so if it's certain stuff that you don't like up there you can uh, remove that all of your uh, themes and all of that good stuff uh, custom boot animation I have that off right now but I plan on actually either creating one or uh, having uh, Sergio, the guy who did the uh, firmware that I'm running now, uh, actually create one for me, which I may go on and kind of mess with that myself. Uh, let me see if there's anything else. That's pretty much it there. Uh, wheel settings, this pretty much comes already set up and ready to go for you, so you don't have to mess with any of this. Um, as far as having your steering wheel controls, which everything pretty much works. 
Um, out of the box, I will say uh, one of the things that I had an issue with is your buttons on your back of your steering wheel as far as controlling uh, uh, skip to your next song or going to previous track. Those were off, which how it is factory um, hitting the down button would normally skip to your next track. Um, but when I initially got it, that would go back so they were backwards and even when i went in to try to change it it still stayed the same but since i've uh installed the firmware uh update it's actually where it is you know where it needs to be now uh system info this is all the stuff that you'll need as far as when you're upgrading um, as far as having issues or problems, uh, the only one of the main problems that I had when I initially got it was whenever I would put it in the reverse, it would get stuck on the reverse camera and I would have to hit the uh, little reset button down here to actually reset it and going back to that, uh, which they had actually issued a, um, a firmware update that fixed that. So. Um, if you're ordering now, hopefully that's a firmware uh, where they have the update on there when you get yours. So hopefully you won't have that issue. Um, of course, reset. Go into all your factory settings. Um, advanced. I want to say this is... Uh, yeah, so it's three sixes, three eights. Come into your advanced settings and that's when you can uh, switch to right camera, uh, front camera, a lot of these settings. Um, they go into when they're setting up your system so I really haven't messed with anything in here um, let me see video backup camera image radar sound like I don't have the sensors in my bumper so I don't know I don't need the radar sound so again all of this stuff is pretty much um, already set up ready to go when you install it um, seat belt which that's set to off but again, if I'm driving down the street and I don't have my seatbelt on, it's still going to chime, which some of this stuff, it won't allow you to turn off. Like, I would like to not hear that when uh, I'm driving down the street. But again, I don't want to hear that. I put my seatbelt on. Um, let's see if there's anything else in here. And see, I kind of mess with this as well. So there are a couple of places that you can go in and kind of tweak audio. Like again, this is all of your, uh, I'm pretty sure it's your factory uh, amp and stuff that was in there, which it may be the one that's on here, which I don't know which one is which, but uh, you can actually turn up the, the gain on all of your audio, DVD volume, TV volume, Bluetooth, uh, music, uh, movie, radio, all of that stuff which I pretty much have mine set to like 33 so again when I initially had the U connect in here I would have to turn it to 20 to 22 to get good sound now I'm at maybe 10 to 12 and I'm about at that same level if not a little bit louder so um, I don't have to turn it up as loud as I did when the U connect was in here so um, climate control that's on HDMI output, which I haven't seen in HDMI uh, back there when I was uh, installing mine, so um, it, it may actually be back there. Uh, that may be something that I mess with a little bit later, see what else I can put off in here. Uh, let's see. I think it's a pretty much all presets. Yeah, original uh, car amplifier hole, so I think that's as far as it goes, it's 40 which you can kind of turn it up, turn it down. I have mine turned all the way up. I don't like to have to turn my radio all the way up, which I plan on um, installing uh, a couple of amps, uh, one on my uh, mids and highs, and of course I plan on putting a sub back there, so that'll actually give me a little bit better sound as well. Uh, radio region. This is where we are, touch key, which I haven't messed with any of that. And then, of course, your boot logo. Uh, hitting the wrong button there. Uh, which mine is just, of course, a red Durango, which yours will come with that same uh, Durango logo as well. 
uh, but I plan on changing that too. Those are different settings. Any day now. There you go. Some of these buttons are kind of small. Um, advanced. Seven, eight, nine, zero. No, that's not it. It's another. Is it system info? Yeah. I think system info. Hold your finger there and then you'll get this. This one's seven, eight, nine, zero. Yeah, and then this is a whole completely different uh, setup as well. Which again, a lot of this is already preset. But if there are certain things that you don't like, which again, when you get yours, if you plan on putting one of these in, um, it'll take you a little bit of time to figure out what settings you like, what stuff you don't like, and then trying to go into your settings to figure out how to change those things, either turning things on or turning things off. So again, I don't think I've messed with anything in here. Uh, 360 camera. I'd almost thought about getting one of those as well. Alright. So that's pretty much it for the settings. Let's see. To your normal settings. And then, of course, you have all your Android settings. Uh, I should turn off hotspot stuff because I didn't get the. Uh, the actually wireless, the wireless, and all of that. Uh, all right, so hooked up to my Wi-Fi here, connected devices, and then of course you have all of your presets, like with a regular Android tablet. Um, let's go into your system. Or set up your Google account. It's all my good stuff there. Um, you know, Sam's. So you have all that stuff to kind of tweak as well. And that's pretty much it. And you got all your, of course, apps and notifications. But of course, how mine works is, of course, touch that. You have all your climate control settings there. Of course, your volume is pretty loud. Um, going to your phone. Of course, you got your Bluetooth music, which that's what I listen to the majority of the time is Bluetooth music because I don't really get the uh, disruption in sound like I do often in... Um, Apple, the wireless Apple CarPlay. So again, I mean, you have the majority of your functions retained. I haven't noticed anything that I've lost. Uh, let's go into here. There's one other thing I'm trying to find here. Okay, that's my camera. Just console. No, that's it right there. Trying to get used to my buttons here. All right, console. Now here's where you can go into all of your settings that you have when you had your UConnect, like all of your light uh, headlight settings. If you wanted to change all of those, uh, reading light, power lift gate. If you have all of those options, uh, passive entry. Which I've turned this on plenty of times, but of course when I bought the vehicle, the guy said that they went in and they had to reprogram that never did wish I had checked that beforehand um, so that'll be something I'll have to check into going back to the dealer and having them fix all of that but you can go in and edit all these settings so um, for the people who had questions on losing functionality uh, losing um, any kind of settings that you have with your Uconnect system you pretty much have all of uh, the functions that you had before but Again, you have to go into console, which again, your icons will look a lot, a little bit different. So you have to play with it a little bit. I think I've had mine about five, going on six months now. Um, and I think I'm pretty well adjusted to it now. It took me a little bit of time to figure out which settings to go into and how to change what. Um, but again, sound horn when you lock the doors. I turn that off because I don't like hearing my horn honk every time I lock my doors. Um, 
uh, personal settings link to key fob. Let's see if I can turn it on. Maybe that'll adjust my passive entry. Uh, tailgate alarm, horn with remote start. Have that off, which I actually had a guy that uh, I had. I didn't have remote start when I initially got the car, but I guess there's a box that you can buy and it actually you know plugs in. Um, I actually have to get that information from him. Um, plug that in and you can use your uh, regular factory key fobs to uh, have remote start. Didn't have to go through all of the extra of buying an alarm, having it hooked up and all that good stuff. Uh, engine off options. Uh, you can go in and change all that. Other settings. Front back mirror. Your units go in and change all of this stuff uh, folding headrest so again when my kids get in the back and of course when they fold up those headrests put those headrests back down hit that I don't know if you guys can hear that but that's how you fold your headrest back down uh, safety and driving so again and you can go in and pretty much change all of this enable disable your paddle shifters uh, how you have your power steering all of your braking options, your suspension, uh, trailer brake, and then your other stuff. Now this is where I came in to kind of mess with some of my uh, audio uh, settings as well. Uh, of course you have your front and rear uh, uh, suspension, you got your auxiliaries, um, and then your original amplifier settings. So. I had to turn all, yeah, it's turned all the way up. I know I says 38 in here and then 40 in the other, other settings, but um, your balance, uh, you can control your bass, uh, mid and your treble, which I got my bass pretty well turned down. Let me turn that back up and then I have my treble turned all the way up. Um, speed adjust, I have that off and then amp switch. Uh, but like I said, pretty loud to me, way better than, you know what I mean, with the uh, Uconnect system that was in here. Because um, initially I just wanted to go to the other Uconnect um, that had the Apple CarPlay and the navigation. Because of course mine didn't come with that. But again, if you guys have been on Amazon or eBay, you know, they want anywhere between 1000 to 1500 depending on who you're uh, buying from on there for that system. So getting this pretty much was a no-brainer. You get all those extra features and you're not spending nowhere near you know what they're trying to charge for a factory system in there so, so the console we have access to all of those so again you have pretty much anything you can think of any um, settings that you have with your uconnect you'll have all of those same settings with one of these because when you initially order it they'll ask you for the year make and model um, and then they'll have you take a picture of your existing um, setup so buttons I already had uh, the uh, park assist this is always off because this wasn't a feature I have this button doesn't work of course I have my auto off there so again that works as it should uh, my hazards work um, eco off and sport mode those work as always and the traction control so uh, so if you have other buttons or if you have these buttons um, on your factory one already all of this stuff will work as it should but they'll know what buttons to actually uh, put in your unit and then all of your other settings will be uh, digital from that point on so and of course with your wireless car play um, it works pretty much about what probably say about 90 to 95 percent of the time uh, the only issues that I have with it is one um, the connect time sometimes it may take you know anywhere between 15 to 30 seconds to connect um, other times it may connect real fast and then the uh, main issue that I have with it which is why I use Bluetooth audio most of the time is even though my phone's right here I may have a little bit of that choppy uh, audio like I've walked away from the vehicle or something um, but I mean other than that it works as you know you would expect uh, CarPlay to work so, but like I said, if I were to uh, suggest 
if you haven't bought one or you're planning on buying one uh, I would probably go with the uh, regular car plate where you can plug in your cable but yeah man so that's pretty much pretty much it uh, there's something that you know I didn't cover or you got questions about something else uh, drop a comment you know what I mean uh, shoot me a message or if you have any of those other questions I can answer those as well uh, but I just know I had plenty of questions already, you know, in my comments, uh, a couple of people who have already pulled the trigger on getting a unit for their vehicle. So, again, I actually probably have one more video after this one when I uh, do the complete process for my wife's car from ordering it to how long it took to get in, um, pulling out her factory unit and then of course putting that in because it's pretty much plug and play i mean there's a couple things you kind of got to look at uh when you're putting in uh the unit itself just based on they send you pretty much everything so some of the stuff you may not need so uh if you're kind of scratching your head if you decide to buy one and they send you some stuff and you have some extra stuff left over some of the stuff you may not actually need but they send you all of the stuff just in case so Mm, excuse me goodness I think it's time to go find some meat uh but yeah man it, like i said everybody who is you know ta who is taking the time out to whether it be look at a video comment subscribe like whatever the case is man appreciate y'all uh plenty more to come um and plenty of different areas whether it be you know doing installs uh adding things to the car i still plan on Hitting up a rim shop, checking out rims and tires. Uh, don't know exactly what I'm going to pull the trigger on that. Um, plan on going to the audio shop because, like I said, I plan on adding a couple amps and a sub. Uh, so, again, I'll take y'all along for the ride on all of that. Uh, plan on going back out to the paint shop, uh, mess with uh, the partner of mine or whatever, check and see what he's on to. So, plenty more content on the way, man. Um, videos have kind of been few and far between so i try to uh drop videos a little bit more on a consistent basis but till the next video man holla y'all